my name is Jean Pequenel. I'm, um, I'm a multimedia producer with background in physics. Uh, we are now at my office at CERN yeah. on building 16, where we have uh, pretty much what constitutes the um, interactive software and visual content uh, production unit of the newly formed CERN Media Lab. So we are a small, for the time being, uh, uh, new organism of CERN, <laughs> which yeah. um, intends to uh, produce um, multimedia of many different times, uh, different types, from animations to interactive software, exhibit content f to serve the CERN community, and mm -hmm. uh, well, to serve you, the public, because yes. you will profit from that. <laughs> so. Yes, um, and uh, tell, tell us a little bit of, I'm curious about your background, you know, because we're here in this kind of highly uh, centered in physics, and at the same time you define yourself as multimedia yes. uh, expert. So tell us uh, a little bit more about that, how you ended up here. <laughs> well, I, I ended up here because I studied physics. Yeah. Uh, I, I studied at the University of Lisbon, uh, and, but, uh, well... It just happened that I had a hobby, which was computer graphics. Yeah. Uh, while I was a student, uh, you know, I did things like uh, graphic editing for the students' magazine, <laughs> and stuff like that. And then yeah. it just happened that um, a teacher that I had uh, at university uh, saw some of the work I was doing and tried to use that to do scientific illustration, like made me do something useful with that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, she happens to be a researcher at CERN mm -hmm. and started making me do some work for, actually for, like, CERN traveling exhibits at the time. And I end up, I end up um, doing this as a career. So I, gradu I graduated in physics. Mm -hmm. So I understand the language and, and uh, the subject of the work of the people that are doing real research in physics because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this pretty stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> showing the physics that the people that are really doing research do. Yeah. And I um, uh, end up, you know, going to one of the, one of, uh, uh, an institute that collaborates with, uh, with CERN, which is in, in Berkeley, California, and doing a lot of the multimedia work for the Atlas experiment at CERN, which is one of the biggest experiments, is actually the biggest experiment in the in the in the complex of the Large Hadron Collider, and since a few months, I'm I've been working for the Education Group of CERN. Yes. Um, and and then we decided to form this new organism, which is the CERN Media Lab, yeah. um, which has basically um, three three organic parts working on it. There is my part, which is um, interactive software and visual content. Mm -hmm. There's um, the hardware part, so the guys that take care of, you know, uh, cool projection systems, of uh, touch screens, uh, yeah. you know, the guys that actually have to um, handle screwdrivers. <laughs> yeah. uh, hardware. I just, I just hammer on, on, on keys. And, and then there's, we have um, uh, one person for the time being doing um, Animations. I used to do a lot of animations, but right now I'm really doing more um, real-time stuff because yeah. I like it more. Yeah. And we are expanding. Uh, we will soon have more people doing uh, interactive uh, software. Yeah. We, we are um, about to hire more people to do animations. Yeah. And we have a lot of really cool projects uh, yeah. about to be launched. Yeah, and something that is recent is also your involvement in the Collides, uh, Collide at CERN That's right. uh, with the choreographer Gilles Jovan. And can you tell me a little bit about that uh, experience that had just begun? Um, it's, it's very different from anything I've done before because um, I'm, I'm kind of a clunky guy. I'm not, I'm not a dancer type. Uh, I never, I never expected to be involved in any type of project, uh, any time with a renowned choreographer like, <laughs> like Chijoa. But it just happens that um, we 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 have a few common interests. Uh, one of the interests, 
one of the things that I think he probably liked when he visited uh, my office the first time is that I'm doing work related, relating human movement and, and, and physics. Um, you know, which for me is kind of a new frontier because I um, started doing more static stuff and then interactive stuff and now starting to, to give a human, human dimension to that, like this human movement and of course a, a professional of human movement yeah. like, like Julie is, uh, 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 I guess found that interesting and, <laughs> and, and there are a lot of possibilities of things that, that, that can be developed based on that. I, I personally am very interested in seeing what what happens out, out of this collaboration. Uh, yeah. which you just had the first presentation uh, two days ago. Yes. yes <laughs> and I was right. practically presenting your work. And I was really curious about if, for example, this uh, graphic that is going on in the back, can you ex explain us a little bit? Of course, you put it sure. there and there is this kind this of is, uh, this code. Is an and <laughs> Yeah, this is actually um, uh, an interactive application. Yeah. That is not just an animation. This, this yeah. is an application called Camellia, which mm -hmm. I developed with a collaborator, uh, which is a kind of simulator of the Atlas experiment. And now it's in a mode where, where it shows to you live events. So uh -huh. this is being streamed right now huh. from, from the Atlas experiment and you are seeing collisions as they happen. Well, mm -hmm. they actually happen about a billion times a second. <laughs> you are seeing about one every five seconds. Yeah. But this is real data being mm -hmm. visualized in, in the real time. Wow. And, uh, and that's, uh, for example, is just receiving the, the real time. And that's right. And you're also doing experiments, perhaps, I don't know if it's with this, uh, to be interfaced with human movement or yes. so. And that is uh, what kind of interfacing? I'm curious. Uh, so we are using Kinects. Kinect. Ah, look at here. Using I have a, well, there's one here. <laughs> there's one here. There's yeah. another there. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. making note of your. <laughs> no, but we, that's good. We, we will eventually have more. Yeah. We will eventually have more. And this perhaps uh, because uh, it will be to have uh, some uh, kind of exhibits or, yes. of course, an educational we, we aspect of. We yeah. have some um, specific projects in mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just well, it's it's research, but it's research is applied research, if you yeah. Will. Yeah. if you will. We we are building a set of products. Yeah, I can tell you a little bit what they are about. Yeah. So one of the one of the things that is in the forefront of particle physics research nowadays um, is research on the Higgs particle. Mm -hmm. uh, more more concretely, the, the the Higgs mechanism, which is this mechanism through which a particle interacting with this thing, which is the Higgs field, mm -hmm. uh, gains mass. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you and I are sitting right here, <laughs> why, why the matter that constitutes us feels the effect of gravity, mm -hmm. is because the Higgs field gives mass to your particles and mine, and mm -hmm. so you feel gravity and you, you, can be, you are not mm, floating, floating around. around. So, this is in the forefront of the research in particle physics, and it's a difficult concept. But I've, I produced a few interactive visualizations of how a particle interacts with a Higgs field. But these are, for the time being, they have been um, very abstract, based on like points which simulate particles moving in this Higgs field. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you could make people not only perceive how is it that a particle interacts with the Higgs field, but that the person feels mm -hmm. like this person is the particle. Mm -hmm. like I am in the Higgs field. Kind of like a, yeah, exactly feeling the threshold for the field. And yeah, so, so the project is relatively simple. The implementation is a little more complicated, but the idea is simple. So you capture the, the silhouette of someone with a Kinect and and you calculate the simulation of the Higgs field around, around this person. And, and this is cool, but what is even cooler than that is if we create a fully immersive environment. Mm. Um, we are building this corridor, which is a nine meters by, by three corridor where the floor and at least one of the walls will be interactive. Mm -hmm. And as you, as you walk through it, 
the heat field uh, of your virtual particle, your human particle, is, is visualized around you. That's one of the projects, but we have uh, mm -hmm. a lot more ideas for this uh, interactive corridor project. Like one is proton football, <laughs> where uh, two, two players, one in each uh, end of the corridor, see a glowing proton in the floor and kick it, again, the Kinect will capture the, the movements and we have to distinguish that this person is in the right zone and kick. Mm -hmm. But you project these protons and you try to collide them and mm -hmm. so on in this interactive corridor. And if they collide, you generate a collision. Mm -hmm. And the stronger you collide them, and the, the highest energy you, you, you generate. get, yeah. and you can eventually find particles. If you, if you collide them really mm -hmm. heads on at really high energies, maybe you find the Higgs. Yeah. Really <laughs> cool. And other things. Uh, yeah. The possibilities are endless. We are just starting. Yeah. We have a plan to, to deploy uh, this for the Frankfurt Book Fair this year, which mm -hmm. will happen in October. Mm -hmm. uh, so come visit us. Yes. It will be very cool. Come play with us. Yes. No, that sounds uh, really interesting. And also in the conversation that we, you had before, you said that then you will have here the possibility of uh, have some students or doing internships or apprentices from practically, of course, they have to get in touch with you and uh, that. So, can you just tell a little bit about that yeah, and sure. perhaps an invitation to the world? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, let me just start by saying that actually there is a collaborator that is arriving next year mm. who's a student who's been uh, working with me for, for a while. Actually, he developed with me this thing. Mm and he's a really cool guy, and now we are hiring him. Yeah. So he's part of the Media Lab staff now. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, we are looking to expand ourselves. We have a lot of cool projects in mind, really. Mm -hmm. For example, we are redoing all the exhibit spaces at CERN. We want to change completely the image mm -hmm. uh, of particle physics, uh, the, the face it presents to the world, so it's a great chance. Mm -hmm. And, and we are looking to engage uh, young, talented artists who are passionate for science mm -hmm. and who would like to work with other young, talented people who have cool projects already in the forge. Yeah. And we are ready to hear from you. Yeah. And if you, if you uh, are in the same tune as us, well, give me, yeah. drop me a line because perhaps Perhaps you'll be the next member of the Stream Media Lab. Who knows? Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and that is great with this, all these interfaces, also directly with art mm -hmm. and with the projects and all the new initiatives with the Media Lab. Thank you. Well, well, thank you very much. It's not uh, live, so I can, uh, well, I just showed you, right? I can select tracks, I can uh, uh, Cut energies in or out, right? I can I can do a lot of things actually. I can actually do physics. I can tell you this is a Z particle. And I can analyze it like a physicist and tell you that this is a Z particle. Mm -hmm. With live data, no way. No. No way. And there's a there's there's a, a lot of reasons for that. There are official reasons and there are true reasons. Like the true reason is that the experiments don't like people to have um, well to find anything with their data. And for they themselves do, because they are physicists that committed their careers to this. Mm -hmm. And of course they want to write the papers on this, of course. If there's something to, to, to be found there, they, they want to be... Yeah,